you may have some of the best looking pieces of audio that there is, pieces of video that there is, and photo that there is. And if you got lousy sound, you got nothing. Nothing, nothing to sell, absolutely nothing to sell. Now, how else are we gonna solve this problem? Can I have Fuzzy Mike 4000, please? Fuzzy Mike 4000. Here we go. There is another way to solve this. Yep, this microphone can come off even though this is not one of my favorite solutions. This microphone can be plugged into this port here. There you go. Then, now that's a stereo input. You can then mount this on a light stand, fits very well on a light stand. You can get it out of a shot, right? And then I can take the camera and I can shoot back here, but then I got that microphone closer. Why? This microphone has a sweet spot. Meaning, there's a spot in which it wants to be no closer and a spot that it wants to be no further away. Now, by the way, those of you that aren't familiar with these little crazy fuzzy things, this is, this is referred to as a dead cat, right? That's really the name. <laughs> <laughs> this microphone is a, a, a brilliant design, particularly for the price, because uh, I know we're going to get questions, buddy. This is the, uh, the, <laughs> the Lumix, the new version of the Lumix mic. It's called the... DMWMS2. Now this is not the one that came out when your camera came out. There, there is a smaller version, it's about half this size, that come out that was for the Lumix GH2. And do you have it by any chance? Okay, we have it, it's horrible. So if you'd like one, you can have it. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, it's all yours. Good, 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 good luck, right? One of the things I do like about this is it does have a directional microphone piece on it, and look what it's got. It's got a second microphone. It's got an, an audio. Where can I put this so you guys can get a good pick up of this? Could I put it on the table, buddy? I can hold it. Thank Perfect. you. Yeah? Okay. Well, it's got the ability for you to switch in your camera. So if you're using that on a Lumix GH3, you can switch. Do you just want it to be the shotgun part? or do you want it to be the shotgun plus the omnidirectional? Now, it doesn't give you the option on how to balance between the two of those, which is okay. It doesn't allow you to just use the omnidirectional, which is just okay. Basically, it's either 95% shotgun mic, and then the other 5%, we're not quite sure what it is, <laughs> uh, or it's 80% shotgun mic, 20% omnidirectional mic. That's the way it is. Okay, now, when you use this in the sweet spot, what is the sweet spot? All right, assuming you're not right in front of the person, right? I want you mm -hmm. to look straight towards that camera there. Straight into that camera. All right, if this microphone is this close, like, let's just say, and you're talking, you just go ahead and talk. Talk, talk, talk in, because I'm talking. All right, when we have what we call plosives, right? Uh, letters that have a lot of wind behind them, like the letter P, and T. What are you talking about, <laughs> Mr. Will? There's, <laughs> there's a chunk of air that comes forward, and that's going to disturb that little pickup. Well, that's going to cause a big problem, as you know, with your audio recording. Well, one of the things that a dead cat does is it helps you with your plosives. So even though most people think this is just for wind, this, in fact, helps a lot for plosives. So we don't have preposterous audio. <laughs> It's just not good. Right. <laughs> However, well, go ahead. does that, do all kind of shotgun mics have that? And is it, is it, it the same for all shotgun mics? It, it, it really, it really kind of is the same. It, it is the same. One of the things that we did learn from some, mm -hmm. some folks is that uh, as soon as you get a chance to get off angle, you do. So there's two things that we want to think of. And here's the two tips that I'm getting to in this entire, this entire uh, segment here. And that is that, well, thank you very much. You know what, I'd rather use that if you don't no, mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Here is uh, a mid-priced, uh, this is a Sennheiser microphone. Uh, it does take a battery in there that, that keeps it alive. And of course, it is gonna need to run off a mixer. Uh, mixers use what's called as phantom power. I believe it's 45 volts, phantom power, which is what this is gonna need to run electricity in order to actually pick up. Now, how do we get rid of plosives when we're gonna use a microphone like this? Well, you noticed when I had mine set up over there that I didn't have it on the camera, did I? One of the big mistakes that photographers make when they're gonna start shooting 
hybrid is that they run out and they buy themselves a, you know, a $300 Sennheiser microphone. Figured, man, this, this is great. I'm gonna figure out how to mount it on top of my camera. Well, we're, you're in the sweet spot now, this is great. Well, guess what? You're still gonna get the plosives that pick up. Plus, this is a much more sensitive microphone. This means you've got that flat wall behind you. There's a lot of sound that's gonna be reflected off that flat wall. In fact, could you hold this right like right, like yep. there? Yeah, it's gonna hold, yep. right? Let's say that someone is back here and they're talking at a normal rate. Let's say we're in a, we're in a public spot, but we're still trying to get something going on. And say there's a person talking like this way sideways. You still, believe it or not, you still have sound that's bouncing off that wall and it's gonna go back into that microphone. All right, that's a problem. How are we gonna fix that? If you notice, most professional audio people fix that by changing the angle. They change the angle, why? A, it gets this out of the line of sight. B, it's out of the camera shot. C, if the person does have plosives, those plosives are coming out this way and they're not gonna hit here, but more importantly, it's now not getting any sound that's bouncing off the bottom of the corner of that wall. Sound reflection, wow. Isn't it funny? Now that you learn all the tough stuff about audio, it makes photo look easy. <laughs> <laughs>